Welcome in to your uh, weekly reading. Um, welcome. We're going to look at what the week ahead has in store for you. As always, if you're interested in more personalized reading from me, be sure to check the links in the description box. Um, mm -mm, I have a couple different options over there. Don't know why I'm so spacey today, but let's let's try and get into this reading because interesting stuff coming up already. Song I got on shuffle for you guys was I Put a Spell on You. Uh, Nina Simone, right? Yeah, Nina Simone. Um, I put a spell on you. I actually feel like this week you're gonna have like massive clarity around something, around the fact that like you have been under somebody's spell and the spell is breaking and you're gonna see like the reality of a situation here um i put a spell on you like maybe this person's legit gonna come up to you and be like i put a spell on you um and now you're mine and you're like <laughs> no i'm not all right let's oh, oh 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 we're right off the bat we got action awaken the warrior woman within Something's happening for you this week, Scorpio, that you're going to have major clarity that's going to, like, urge you to move forward. Like, it's like truth, but it's like truth in the form of almost like this epiphany. Like, oh my God, what's happening for Scorpio this week? Fire, transformation, rebirth, and renewal. I'm telling you, there's some, like, there's some energy here. Um, what's the song by Drake, Energy? I got enemies, got a lot of enemies, got a lot of people trying to drain me of my energy. They trying to take away. Um, that's like something that's happening here. Like you're waking up to the fact that like, one, there's somebody around you who's been a little bit like manipulative or like legitimately has had you under their spell. We have manifestation, what you desire is on its way. But there's something about this like enlightenment that you're having. Look, a new beginning that's going to like propel you forward. Um, like you're fired up, like you're fired up. All right. I'm. I got a lot of energy. <laughs> the energy is the big thing. OK, let's see. Stuck to the table. It's time to take action. Y'all take an action this week, okay? There's something you guys are about to like passionately take action towards. Your dreams need a practical plan. It's almost like, oh my God, like, oh my God, like, pew. like there's something happening. Please ignore the fact that I'm being like a little bit over the top right now, but I feel like this is like, there's some kind of like pew moment that you're having that you're like, I have to act now. What is happening for you? The end of a tough cycle approaches. So it's like, oh, <laughs> you just keep saying, oh my God, oh my God. It's almost like, you know, when you like, if you were to have, um, like say you do like an elimination thing, like you're eliminating things out of your life to figure out like what's the source of like your problem. And then like you find the source of your problem. You're like, oh my God, of course, that was the problem all along. Um, I figured it out, now I can move forward. What's happening here for my Scorpios this week? Oh my God, you guys, what's happening? Grand Cross Provoker, look at how that hit me in the face. Honestly, watch out, okay? There's a lot of fired up energy here. Y'all better not be getting into fights, especially with this Provoker and like the way that that shot up and hit me in the face. Y'all better be careful, okay? Oh my God, we have Fire Element Desire. Um, ooh, there is just something that's going down for you this week, Scorpio. And we have water element sensing. So I feel like, I don't know, there's just something that's about to fire you up. We have earth element stability, but it's like, ground yourself, ground yourself. 
Bottom of the deck, we've got the devil card here. So this is like you seeing something very clearly. Like I feel like you're gonna be seeing something very clearly. This could be some kind of karmic contract. This could be some kind of like situation that you felt bound to. Um, you're gonna, I feel like you're seeing somebody's true colors. It's interesting. I hope that's not accurate that some of you are gonna get like in a fight or punched in the face or something like that. But I feel like there is somebody who's like getting up in your, like there's, there is something provoking you to be like enough. Bottom of, of, of overall energy, the eight of cups, something like that you are like feeling fired up to be like, I am done with you once and for all. I always, or actually I really don't even think it's like, I always knew there was something off about you I almost feel like it was like you know sh <sighs> it's almost like somebody shows you once who they are and you're like nah nah no 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 too early to be showing me that that red flag okay um let's see eight of cups why is the eight of cups here Ten of crystals. Like I said, for some of you, this is somebody who has had you under like a little bit of a spell, though. Um, but side note, there's other stuff happening for you. Eight of cups to the ten of pentacles. I do feel like you have some kind of like um, success coming in for you, some kind of financial abundance. And this is sort of like um, like this is sideline that stuff sideline. I feel like there's something that you're like awakened to, oh my God, I have to go for it. And there might be somebody around you who's like wanting to tether you back. And you're like, let me like, let, let go. Like, let, let me do this. Like, what's your problem? You know, there's just something going on there where you're really fired up and you're like, take making moves, making actions. And there's like a little bit of a, like a Debbie Downer here. Um, we have the Empress. The Empress. We have the Four of Swords. I got enemies, got a lot of enemies, got a lot of people trying to drain me of my energy. Um, the Knight of Cups, the Three of Cups, and we have the Knight of Wands. Alrighty. So I do feel like there is some kind of new beginning, something that you're like birthing. I'm in like passionate labor thing. Like we are in labor here. Um, what is this? The Queen of Wands. Yeah, you are looking good. Something about your energy this week is really fired up. Really, really, really fired up. Um, what is this Four of Swords? Look, the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups. See, but this is this energy around you that's kind of like, like I feel like you've been in maybe like a little lull, but I feel like somebody's been keeping you there. Somebody's been keeping you there. And I feel like for some of you, I feel like this is like there's somebody that you're interested in that I actually feel like is also interested in you or there's somebody you've been interested in, but there's somebody around you, somebody or something. It doesn't even have to be a somebody, but like I am kind of picking up distinctly that there's been somebody that you've wanted to make an offer to or there's like a creative project you've been wanting to go for. But there's kind of somebody around you who's like been telling you not to do this. And I feel like this is the person that you're waking up to that you're like, what is the Knight of Cups? And then you've been in like this mode of like regret of like, but I really want to go for that. But this person tells me that I have no chance. And now you're kind of waking up to like, there's something that I feel like goes down this week that you wake up to the fact that like this person isn't who I should be taking advice from. Um, what is the Knight of Cups doing here? The King of Cups. Yeah. Like you make a choice, you make a choice. The King of Cups in this, it's like somebody who conceals their emotions. But I also feel like this is in this deck, like he's holding two cups and he chooses one. So for some of you, this could talk about like a person around you, especially if you're dealing with somebody and like maybe they've been dealing with a little bit of a third party. Third party doesn't have to be another like 
per person romantically. It could be a friend. It could be a family member. It could be like a karmic situation or like a, a ex person or like a, that that friend that person that poses as like the friend. I'm just looking out for you. I think that they're like this person has been like manipulating your person a little bit, and I feel like they're waking up to that. They're waking up to their their games. Um, the Three of Cups here. What's the Three of Cups doing here? So for some of you, this could be about you waking up to this person or vice versa. Um, the World card, yeah. So bringing like the ending to a cycle here. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Yeah, Three of Wands and the Knight of Swords. There's some kind of communication, some kind of clarity, some kind of news on its way that you've been waiting on. Some of you, this doesn't even have to do romantically. It has to do with work, which is like, and it has to do with a creative endeavor where there's somebody around you who has been like um, sort of holding you back. But you have some kind of news and communication coming in here. What is this news and communication? Two of Wands. It's like an opportunity for forward movement. Um, what is this opportunity? What is this news coming towards you? This action. Like there's some kind of action that you will be taking. What is this? The Three of Pentacles. It's almost like somebody wants to collaborate with you. The Sun card. And you might have wanted to collaborate with this person. Remind, mind you, this could be romantic, like collaboration, like working together with somebody else. Um, you might have had your heart set on like, but you're my friend and I want to work with you and I want to do this. And then it's like, enough. Um, the sun card here. This is like you receiving recognition. I feel like there's somebody who wants to come in and almost give you a better opportunity than what this other person wanted to give you. This other person wanted to like work on your on their time. It was all about them, them, them. What I have to offer you, um, kind of diminishing you a little bit, kind of diminishing you. And now there's somebody else coming in here who's actually going to be like, offering you something better, offering you something way, way better. What are they offering you here? Yeah, the magician card and the fool, whatever it is, I feel like there's like absolutely no hesitation on your part. For some of you, this is like business related because it's like, say the other, say one situation was like, oh, I have this little, little thing going on right here you know, and oh, maybe I'll feature you. Maybe I'll feature you. Yeah, yeah, like, and then somebody else comes in with say like a bigger platform or a bigger um, company and they're like, wait, we want you. We like, we need you. And they're like offering, let's work together. We can do this. And it's almost like, oh, I don't even need. And, and it's kind of like, you're realizing that this person was kind of stringing you along. Get what I'm saying? All right, what's happening for Scorpio this week? Let's pull some of the other cards. Yeah, five of cups. I feel like this person's going to be in like um, a little bit of regret. Like they're, the high priestess is here, the moon. You're going to be realizing the truth. What is the truth that you're realizing here? Truth you're realizing. Five of swords truth that you're realizing the four of wands what's the truth you're realizing who is this person that you're realizing a truth about queen of swords and the lovers card i feel like for some of you this has to do like with the fact that um because we have the justice card here you're gonna realize like what's karmically going on behind the scenes okay um, for some of you, this is like the situation that I described, but for some of you, you're going to realize that your person, like, especially if it's more so on the romantic level, that your person's been being manipulated, okay? Um, or the person that you've been, been being manipulated. All right, let's get some archetype cards and see what's going on for Scorpio this week, please. 
monk nun, selfless devotion and single-minded dedication to a spirit. So this could be that, like, you know, you're going inwards. You're taking your time on your own. What's happening for you this week? Goddess, the feminine expressed through wisdom, nature, life force, and centrality. I feel like you're looking good, you're feeling good, and this is kind of what's drawing in this, like, extra attention. Um, that's kind of going to bring in this, like, awakening. Yeah, visionary. See? Capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others. Willingness to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain. And also selling insights to the highest bidder, compromising your vision to make it more acceptable. So I feel like this is like you staying true to your, holding your vision. Because I do feel like there's somebody who wants you to play small. And you're like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh Look, companion. Companion. Loyalty, tenacity, and unselfishness, but the shadow attributes are betrayal by misusing confidences, loss of personal identity. There's a little snaky snake around you or your person, okay? Who's the snake? Who's this snake? Mother. Oh. <laughs> Nurturance, patience, unconditional love, joy in giving birth to life, smothering or abandoning children, instilling guilt in children for becoming dependent. Obviously, this doesn't have to be a mother. For some of you, it, like really could be like it really could be a mom could be the mother of your child it's somebody who's definitely codependent codependent they don't want you to they need you to need them they need you to need them okay they need you to need them so it's like this is a toxic mama okay some of you have partners who've got toxic mothers all right who've got narcissistic mothers all right and there's still that little baby, like, you know. Um, what is this? What is the what is the betrayal? What is this, like, wake-up call that happens here? Servant delight in serving others with a free and loving heart. Shadow attribute using the lack of money as an excuse to not for move forward with life. The crazy thing is, I feel like this person's been, like, lying to, the, like, either lying to you or lying to this person being like there's not enough money to go for there's not enough money to do this and all the while it's like just keeping you like some of you have been paying money to this person um oh that makes sense especially if it's like the mother of your child or like somebody who you've been like having to pay child support to something like that like there's definitely been like this person has kept you feeling needed and some of you it's your own like mother some of you it's just somebody who wants you know you to be needed look we have child some of these people have put actual spells on you so if you feel like that resonates because we have child magical here um light attributes seeing the potential for sacred beauty in all things the belief that everything is possible, but shadow attribute is pessimism, depression, and disbelief in miracles, believing that energy and action are not required for growth. So again, this is like somebody who's been keeping you in an action, or this is like your person waking up to the fact that like somebody has been keeping them very stuck, very inact inactive, but they really haven't been giving them anything. Okay, so what is this news and this clarity coming through? News and clarity coming through. Uh, uh, uh. The storyteller. Um, uh, uh, uh. Guys, sorry about that. Shadow attribute, making up tales that harm others, ability to experience life through stories and symbols. Somebody's been making some shit up, okay? And they're gonna realize it. There, you. What is this clarity information coming through for you? The lover, great passion, devotion, unabridled appreciation of someone or something, obsessive passion that harms others, self-destructive devotion. Someone's been making some shit up. God, these keep falling. Um, I feel like this person's been doing a really good job to conceal these things and keep your person under this illusion. I want to like tap in really quick to like, Shapeshifter, yeah, projecting any image that serves your personal agenda in the moment. 
and then this student like this is almost like somebody who's a little bit above your person it feels like or you um what is it that comes out that like blows this person's cover yeah warrior strength skill discipline and toughness of will heroism stoicism and self-sacrifice and conquering the ego trading ethical principles for victory at any cost indifference to the suffering inflicted on others i almost feel like there's an argument here where like the truth like comes out um what's the action that you're taking this week rebel challenges authority yeah i feel like you're rebelling you're like <laughs> i'm so done with this queen yeah i feel like there's it, it's definitely look thief energy i feel like it's definitely a feminine energy okay so whether this is your person or your you the energy is very feminine that's coming through as like this person so it's like radiates the regal feminine uses her benevolent authority to protect others becomes arrogant when authority is challenged controlling and demanding so i feel like you're definitely rebelling against this person pioneer passion and going out on your own like you're like i deserve better than this like i deserve better than this i'm not putting up with this anymore I'm not putting up with this anymore. You've been keeping me in your like grasp under this illusions, illusions. And it's almost like their ego comes out. Like there's an argument that happens here and somebody's ego comes out. Okay. Um, let's get some romance angels. Oh, we have wedding. This situation involves marriage. Um, I'm hearing some of you, if you are getting married, like, you about to cut somebody out of the wedding, okay? <sighs> What's happening here? Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. Let's get one more. Um, love yourself first. Yeah, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and you deserve love. You're lovable. So I definitely feel like there's some kind of situation going on here this week. Um, and it could have to do with like somebody re like finally just really like recognizing some toxic energy in their life and being like enough, 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 enough heart-to-heart -heart messages here what are the messages coming through for Scorpio whoa I miss you when I look in your eyes I see my whole future like this could be a mom who's like don't marry that person like I feel like for some of you when I'm talking about this on a romantic setting this is definitely like your person is waking up to this but this could be you like your own f family you know um, I can't wait to fall asleep in your arms. Like, I do feel like for those of you that this relates romantically, it's kind of like your person's waking up to who's been holding them back and they want to come in and be like, I realize now, I wish I could be there for you. Like, I don't want anybody to keep me from you anymore. You are the most beautiful thing I keep in my heart. I wonder if I'm on your mind as much as you're on mine and I'm ready for our future together. Yeah, somebody was holding them back from their future. I just wanna see what's the story that's been made up here. Yeah, rescuer assumes that the rescued will reciprocate, keeps the rescued one needy. Like you need me, you need me. Somebody has been feeding you or this person lies of like, you need me. Um, You can't make it without me. What? who are you without me and that could it, it, it's a mom it feels like a mom um or some kind of situation like that so scorpio that is what i'm seeing for you i hope that this resonated and i will see you on my next readings bye